Hello guys, it's me before I am in my own video. That doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Um, so pretty much, I just want to give a shout out to these people. They got the questions right in my AFL trivia that I did at halftime during the Collingwood vs Sydney stream that I did. And uh, yeah, just quick shout outs go to Felix39, Why Do I Like, Aussie Gaming, and Jaden. Their links will be in the description below, but if I can't find their links, I've just said the name, so they know who they are. And uh, yeah, cheers. What's going on guys, and welcome back to another video on the Bitter Footy YouTube channel. So it's the weekly, or the daily, or well not daily, it's the, well, weekly, I guess, tipping videos. Um, it's round 11 today, Saturday. I know how weird, what strange times we're in right now. But we're going to go through the tips. I'm going to tell you my tips. I'm going to tell you I think I'm think's going to win. And, uh, yeah. All right, the first game is between Port Adelaide and Richmond today. 4.35 at the Adelaide Oval. A cracking match between two heavyweights of the AFL, this year anyway. It will be an absolute stunner. I can't wait to see it. I feel like they're both actually, both teams really actually match up against each other very well, which is why it was so hard for me to tip. But in the end, I think the power can actually get the job done, but I've tipped him by a small margin of eight points over the Tigers. It should be a thrilling match, but I just think the power will want to win this match. Um, uh, will really want to win this match, sorry. And uh, yeah, just show that they're like really, really contending for finals this year and they want to, that they, and they would want, uh, I'm losing words. They would want to show that they're like, um, they're a big team pretty much this year and they're a team that you just have to watch out for, you got to watch and um, yeah, that they'll beat the Tigers by 8 points, I just think yeah, the, the Power will pretty much want this win more to show that they're a big club in, in 2020, so yeah, the Power by 8 points over the Tigers, but if Dusty gets on, who knows what could happen. The next game is between the Brisbane Lions and the Bulldogs at the Gabba, another cracking game, no doubt about it, and the Dogs have Aaron Norton back in the side. But I'm still going to go to the Brisbane Lions in this one by 15 points. I feel like they will just want to um, start building a good momentum towards the end of the season. Good, uh, They want to start building good momentum towards the end of the season is what I should have said. And yeah, I feel like the Bulldogs, no doubt, they will challenge in this game. But I feel like the Lions will just be more mature and get the job done over the Bulldogs by 15 points at the Gabba. Next, we have the Eagles versus Carlton at Optus Stadium. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Optus Stadium. 335 on a Sunday. It's still going to be a crack of this one. I feel like the Blues will want to come out firing after last week's loss against the Hawks. But I feel like in the end, the Eagles will be able to run away with this one and win it by 22 points. I feel like the Eagles forward line is starting to click together. Mer um, you know, just really, they're really collaborating well with each other pretty much. And so are the mids. The mid to forward line, you know, collaboration is just really starting to click for the Eagles at the right time of the season. So that's why I think they'll be able to beat the Blues by 22 points. The Blues, like the Dogs in the last game, will definitely challenge, but I feel like the Eagles will run away with it in the end and win by 22 over the Blues. Next, we have Melbourne versus North Melbourne. The Battle of the Melbournes, which Melbourne will be better? I think Melbourne will win this game by 13 points. I think they want to start building after last week's I feel, win. They want to like just go up another level and I feel like, yeah, North Melbourne, they'll they'll do all right. They're one of those teams that do all right in matches, but then they drop off and they do silly things in games. And that's why, f and Melbourne will just catch them out on the silly things that North Melbourne do. North Melbourne tend to handball the player into pressure a lot. And Melbourne, if they get a turnover, they're such a fast-paced team that they'll go to their end and score. 
So yeah, that's why I think Melbourne are going to win by 13 points over the Roos at the Adelaide Oval. Think about that one. Next, we have the Saints versus the Cats at the Gabba. A lot of people have actually tipped the Cats to win this one, but I am a loyal, well not a loyal fan, but I am a loyal believer in the Saints this year, and I think they will beat the Cats by 70 points. The Cats, yes, they do have a great mid and a great defense, not... No, not the best forward line, but you know, Tom Hawkins is good and all. But I still think the, the Saints, their pace is really good. Their forward line is actually really good, so it'll be a good battle between the Cats defense and the Saints forward. It'll really test the Saints forward line this game, but I still think the pace of the Saints will be too much for the Cats. The Cats will obviously come in with a game plan for the pace of the Saints, but I just still think it'll be too much. And... Saints will get over the line by 70 points to so just flex their muscle a little and say hey don't forget about us this year do not forget about us. Frio versus Hawthorne is next at Optus Stadium or Op yeah it is Optus Stadium right yeah it is um so this is actually a tough one to tip because the Dockers are just such an inconsistent team so you never know if you're going to get the good Dockers or you know or the bad Dockers but I feel like we'll get the Dockers that will fight to the end, but will just not be good enough to finish the game. And therefore, I've tipped the Hawks by 12 points in this one. I feel like it will be a very, very good contest. The Hawks, they do well at Optus Stadium. But yeah, I feel like we'll get one of those Docker sides that will challenge the Hawks all day, but just won't be able to get over the line, and the Hawks will be too good in the end. And that's why I've eventually went the Hawks by 12 points over the Dockers. Next we have Adelaide versus my Collingwood Magpies at the Adelaide Oval Tuesday night 6.35 game May streamer. I don't know. I'll let you know which game is streaming. It's just a lot of games compacted into one, all right? Leave me alone, please. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but I've gone us by 31 points. I feel like this could be a game where the momentum for us will just switch around. We'll start to go on a good streak after this game. Normally we do go up to Adelaide when we're doing bad and play a really good game and it switches our momentum to a really good momentum. It switches the vibe of the club to a really good vibe. I know we've got a lot of injuries, but I, I can see the players that we can replace for those injuries already. And those players that I can see are actually pretty decent as well. So yeah, I've gone the pies in this one by 31. Adelaide, I don't know when you'll get your first win, but who knows? The final game of the round sees the Gold Coast Suns take on the Bombers. A lot of people have tipped the Gold Coast Suns in this one, but I've actually went the Bombers in this one by nine points over the Suns. I feel like it'll be a ripping contest, but I feel like, you know, the Bombers really, really did well against the Giants. They just joked it at the end. And the Suns, they also did well against the Saints. It will be a ripping contest, but I feel like the Suns are starting to drop off. They're starting to do what they do every season. And I feel like the Bombers will just be too good, will want this win a lot just to keep in touch with the top eight. And especially when they've got that game in hand, they need to stick in touch with the top eight. And that's why I believe that the Bombers will win this one by nine points over the Gold Coast Suns. That concludes the tips. For this round I hope you guys enjoy enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the, the amounts of content that I'll be handing out to you pretty much during the week I've got another podcast episode coming out soon I'm getting my own ps4 so I'm hoping to do like a lot of AFL Evo 2 content as well and uh, yeah I can't wait to bring out some more content for you guys maybe a few tier makers maybe a few uh, footy challenges we'll see how it goes maybe a new game show i'm not going to leak any secrets or anything but we'll see how it goes anyway guys cheers <laughs>